And it is time to discuss what happened on the Go Home Show for WrestleMania on Monday Night Raw. How are you doing today, GK? Tired. Why? Because you had to see it through Raw today. Yeah. Felt like a long show. Yeah. If you feel like talking about the Drew McIntyre segment, because I hate discussing about long talking segments. Basically, Drew McIntyre shows up to kick off Monday Night Raw. He says, we're back in business and once again. Drew McIntyre is fighting for WWE Championship for this side, uh, this Saturday, night one. He basically says, you know, this is his dream and he's going to keep pushing. And then he says, Lashley, how can you beat a man that will sacrifice everything? Lashley comes out and then it's, they go back and forth. It's now, it's now the almighty time. The era, the Bobby era is upon us pretty much. And MVP says, you will lose your dignity, you will lose con- consciousness, and you will lose the match. Baron then comes out and says, last week I started something, tonight I'm gonna... Tonight I'm... He said, last week I'm gonna start something, tonight I'm gonna finish it, F- face the facts, there's no WrestleMania for you. And so we're getting Corbin versus Drew tonight. Mm. As talking segment go, this one was pretty good. Drew McIntyre is not that bad on the mic. I'm kind of getting sick of hearing him talk about anything, though. I've got massive fatigue over Drew McIntyre at this point. I don't want him near near in the title picture at all. No, I don't as well. But I will say, seeing Corbin on the mic, it reminded me of that time The Rock roasted him. Hmm. Yeah, no one cares about Corbin. Yeah. yeah, overall not a bad little opening segment. We then move on to uh, for some reason Matt Riddle wished uh, Woods luck in his match against AJ Styles for some reason. Truly one of a kind meeting between champions. <sighs> Woods won with an inside cradle very quickly into the match. Yeah, it was AJ Styles versus uh, um, Xavier Woods. Yeah, it wasn't a very long match, so can't say it was good, but Woods got a good win before Mania. Uh, yeah, yeah he, Austin got... Uh, Xavier got a win over AJ Styles. So we're going to have to see if is uh, momentum on the side of New Day going into WrestleMania. Exactly. Then Braun cut a promo inside of a steel cage talking about there's no hiding behind your goons at WrestleMania, I'm going to destroy you. Shane then came out and just called him stupid again for some reason. And then Braun That's Strowman that. beat up Elias and Jackson Riker to get the win in a two-on-one handicap match. This really has to be like the stupidest storyline ever, I swear. I don't know why they're calling him stupid. Because he had that um, gimmick in the in the past, uh, Brains and Braun. I give it a 3.7 out of 5. Uh, I lost the world to play. Hmm. Yeah. Next segment where this was very shocking. Yeah, th- this was bad. Uh, bad Bunny in the earlier in the night had showed up in a Bugatti Veyron, which, if anyone's aware, is a very expensive car that well, his is worth three point six million dollars. Uh, so, so that's not storyline; that's actual money. Miz and Morrison they customized it with paint, red paint. Yeah, and then they they ambushed him, of course. After he came, they beat him up, and then they got scared off by Adam Pearce and other people. My main question is, where was um, Damien Priest when Bad Bunny came back to take to look on his car? Maybe it's going to stir things up between them, Damien and Bad Bunny. It was so painful watching them deface that beautiful car, though. 
I mean, we all know it's washable paint. We all know that's yeah. going to... It's, it's going to wash off, of course. They're not going to use real blood paint. They're going to use some form of thing that can easily wash off. But still, I mean, it looks... Even if they did use real paint, they, they do have the investment to replace it. They're not going to do that. They'll just use... It would be a lot cheaper to get washable paint, dude. Yeah, but it's WWE. They don't really care about, you know, wasting more money. Mm, I think they do, since Bugatti Veyrons are rare anyway. Not many people yeah. can afford them. Yeah. Uh, then Rhea Ripley and Asuka face Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler with what's pitting me off now because they put in brackets red shoes, red shoes and old. No, no. Red shoes is the best referee in New Japan, not Reginald. Fuck you, Reginald, and fuck that nickname because you don't deserve the red shoes nickname. Yeah. Um, Basically, during the match, Rhea Ripley attacked Asuka, threw in the ring, and then Shayna got the win for her team. Yeah, Rhea postured, postured the, the match. I was very devious of it. Mm. Then we got a backstage uh, segment uh, with the former her business members with MVP Shelton. And uh, Cedric. And uh, they, yes. They, Cedric and Sultan, they sent a, a message to Bobby through MVP. It's basically okay. calling him a parasite. How can how can you talk down to us when you're just a parasite? And then Shelton, he touched the MVP's chain, surprisingly. I didn't expect to see any of that. Yeah. Which which led to their match, uh, Bobby Lashley versus uh, Cedric Alexander. There was something talking about the tag team turmoil thing for night one for the women's titles, but no one cares about that. It was a good match. Cedric looked good, and it wasn't a squash. Still a bad decision if this is indeed the end of the hurt business. Yeah. Speaking of that backstage segment, uh, there's something that's going to happen with the turmoil. What was it again? Uh, I don't know. I half paid attention, I, dude. I don't care about Tag it. team turmoil. Winners face Nia and Shayna for the Women's Tag Team Champions on WrestleMania Sunday. So mm -hmm. Saturday is the tag team turmoil. Sunday, winner faces champions. <sighs> <sighs> This is good. Somehow, Billy Kay and Carmella weren't on the official graphic on TV, but they are on Twitter. So, so I will say, for me, I, I'm rooting for either Carmella, Billy, or Natty Tanina. Mm, maybe Riot Squad can get it. Let's go Riot Squad. We'll have to see we then go to Bad Punny cutting a promo for about 14 hours discussing on I'm a fan of WWE, I remember watching it as a kid with my family, blah, 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 blah. I respect Booker T, Triple H, Stone Cold, on stake, blah, 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 blah. Then he starts talking into Spanish and then going blah, 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 blah. Miz and Morrison, blah, 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 blah. The Miz Morrison's come out and start going blah, blah, blah. And then Damien Priest made it a tag team match for some fucking reason. We saw that coming. Oh, a mile off. I'm going to be honest. Bad Bunny, you just sound like every generic person that comes to WWE the first time they step in the ring and talk about why they're here. Yep. So, yeah, Miz and Morrison, they accepted, and yeah, it's happening. Official tag team match for night one. Yay. Then Riddle and, sorry, Mustafa Ali and Sheamus have a conversation. Sheamus kind of roots Ali on, saying, you should be champion. So we have Riddle versus Ali, and Riddle won. Yeah, because they were talking backstage, and he, he just swipes through them with his scooter, of course. 
Well, so we'll just get that scooter off Riddle and shove it up his ass already. I wonder if he has like an injury. Is that why he wants scooter? No, I think it just goes with he's the fact he's high gimmick. Mm, yeah. Maybe he's trying to appeal to the kids. Maybe. See, because he did, he, he did mention on this episode. He did. He pretty much mentioned that he's a pothead on today's episode as well. Pretty much. Taking all yeah. subtlety out of his character. So we had uh, Mustafa Ali versus Riddle, and Sheamus was on commentary. Yeah, and Riddle won, and then words exchanged between Sheamus and Riddle. Just give the title to Sheamus already, please. Yeah, I do want to see him with the title. Mm. Then we get to our main event of the evening. Mr. McIntyre versus Mr. Corbin. Before you go on, can I say one more thing? Yeah. A lot of people might disagree with me, but like I will say the Bad Bunny promo was actually, in my opinion, I think it was pretty good. I think it was like, highlight. I was saying this earlier, like it seemed like a highlight of the show. He can really go. I think we can already figure out the fact that I kept using the word blah, 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 and the, we're talking about it. Gives my feelings on what I thought of this promo. Yeah. I think he's going to stick around more longer than WWE. Fuck's sake. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Mm, no. I'm Sorry, glad you enjoyed more. the promo. It kind of, that was kind of the turning point of I stopped paying attention at that point. Yeah. Then McIntyre had a nice, actually a pretty good match with Baron Corbin, but McIntyre, of course, won with a Claymore. Bobby Lashley makes his way to the stage and says, Five days. Yeah. I didn't expect uh, Corbin to win. My, my expectations for this route were low, so I was mentally prepared. They've done, done a good job like building this match. But the build to Ms. Morrison versus Bad Bunny Priest was pretty good. Still, yeah. not a good show for me. Thankfully, it's just a huge, thankfully it's just the start of the Mania week. Yeah, I mean, as a go home show works, it, it's hyped up most of the matches that are happening at Mania. To be fair, yeah. I gave this show five out of ten. Uh. I think I'd have to agree with you. It's, it's a fairly average Monday Night Raw. It did what it needed to do to hype up for Mania. But apart from that, I probably wouldn't seek out the show again. It was a yeah. typical go-home show that I wasn't particularly half in, half interested in it. Just mainly just because it, it was a go-home show. But it, it was all right. Yeah. Yes, uh, but that has been our review of the Go Home Show of Monday Night Raw. Yeah. Um, I will be live tomorrow watching the Hall of Fame, so if you're interested in that, check out the Live Reactions channel. We'll then be live for AEW, NXT's, SmackDown, Mania. We're going to be live for like most of the events. There's just a couple I'm missing nice. because they're on the same time as other ones. Mm-hmm. You're just missing one. The, oh, two. Uh, first, uh, Impact Wrestling and the first night of NXT TakeOver. Oh, okay. But yes, uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you all later, guys. Peace. Peace.